it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. Today we are going to be doing a design space tutorial on an off the mat character. And not just any character, this is a special request, so I'm super excited. Um, if you haven't subscribed already, please do. I would totally appreciate all the support. And let's get started. Okay, so this is for a very special little girl. She had a rough start right at birth, and so I'm super excited for her that she's celebrating her fifth birthday. So let's go into images and actually go into uploads. So she, um, her mama, <laughs> saw my project where, you know, I did myself, my, my avatar. And so we worked with Kayla over at the Salty Yankee. She sent over pictures and this is the cute little five-year-old that's gonna have her own off the mat character. So, um, and I've worked with Kayla before and this is something that is that you can do too. If you wanted to do something like this, get your own avatar. Kayla is amazing at the Salty Yankee because she also knows that a lot of her files ends up being off the mat characters. And so the way she designs it makes it really easy to work with. So, all right, let's go and let's do the height just off the bat, do it at 30 inches and let's see what we have. Oh my, and this is a good thing that this happens so that you can see what in the world. <laughs> so my image was unlocked when I did this. So it came in and it made it 30 inches, but it kept the width only at a little bit under five inches so it got warped so all we're gonna do is we're just gonna delete it go back into uploads and bring it in and this time I'm gonna be careful make sure my file is locked <laughs> so just click on it once although it didn't okay there we go and now I'm gonna change the height to 30 inches and now of course it's gonna be proportionate so however long it is it's gonna be um, why proportionately so I'm gonna go down here and just zoom out so that we don't have to zoom in and out all the time and to see the image um okay so at 30 inches I'm pretty sure she should be good but let's look at the hair for instance the hair eight inches by nine inches no seams perfect let's look at the body and um I'm pretty sure everything is going to be good, but because the brown is all one, one image, I'm going to go to contour and I'm going to slowly remove things to see how big everything is. So I'm going to hide all. This is the face. Let's see how round the face is. Seven inches by eight inches. That means it's going to be flawless. So let's go back to contour, show all, and I think we're going to be good. I think in fact, we can make it just a little bit bigger. So let's go with, I'm gonna make it 33 inches. So at 33 inches, hold on, let's see what, if the width is at 12 inches, what do we have? Oh, it's too small, okay. I'm gonna go back to 33 inches and we're basically gonna have a seam right down the middle, which is okay to me, I think. Let me think about that. At 15 inches. I'm just thinking about where the seams are gonna be and where we can hide them. I think what I'm gonna to wanna to do is probably do, let's see, are the glasses? Okay, perfect. This is gonna be totally good all right I'm ready it's going to be 33 inches it's gonna be flawless she's gonna look amazing so um, all right let's start ungrouping everything now she's got glasses I love this and the glasses are in two pieces so I am I like the glasses sitting on top of everything so let's duplicate this um, and on the duplicate, we don't need it to be the top. The top, we, the black, we want it layered a few times. And the reason why I'm choosing the black is it's just a little bit thicker. It's gonna be easier to stick the foam squares underneath to give that depth. And so let's do three layers of the glasses, one layer of the pink that's sitting on top, okay? It's gonna be so stinking cute. All right, let's look. Each one of these layers should be fine. 
Oops, what do we have here? That's that. Those, let me zoom in. How thin is that? Okay, not bad. That's gonna look really pretty. Okay, let's zoom back out. Um, so this dress is based on what she's wearing. So I'm gonna match the colors as much as I can. Right now, it's not important to match the colors. Right now, we're just kind of removing everything and um, making sure that we can cut it. Now this piece right here, it's two pieces, right? I'm just gonna duplicate it and go to contour and I'm gonna remove one piece. So this is just the right piece and then I'm gonna remove the right piece now. So now instead of it being a big piece on my paper, I can move these two really close to each other and cut it and it's just gonna be like two inches by three inches. You can even find scrap paper that you can cut that with, right? Okay, so let's zoom back out. What do we have here? We've got her shoes. Same thing with the shoes. The other thing that you can do is you can go in and bring in a shape and we can slice it. So I wanna show you slicing as well. So now I'm covering one side of the shoe and grab the two items and I'm gonna slice. And so now instead of the shoes being one whole piece, it's two separated pieces. And again, you can use scrap for this. So I'm gonna move that. Now her hair, her hair is in two pieces, but I'm gonna show you why I wanna contour it. Cause right now it's um, what, 10 inches by nine inches, okay? So I'm gonna duplicate it and let's go to contour. Let's get rid of, let's separate that. And then on this piece, I'm gonna go to contour and get rid of the lower part of her hair. And so now I can put this inside and instead of it being nine inches by 10 inches that I'm cutting and you know, now I'm gonna use 12 by 12 cardstock, let's say, and I'm gonna have more usable scraps. So that's why I wanted to contour that out, separate the two pieces so that this can cut more efficiently. Um, okay, let's look at this. Same thing with the eyes. You can do the same thing. I'm gonna, one eye is gonna go in this square and I'm gonna grab this and slice. And now the eyes will be... And she's got multiple shades of brown. I'm probably gonna wanna switch up, like use a little bit of glitter cardstock, probably for the eyes just to make it pop. She's gonna have the pretty um, glasses and um, the skin. We're gonna try to match the skin as best as we can. Okay, so here's the white. The white, I'm going to do this and I'll keep it all together um, because it's pretty efficient, like the whole set of eyes. So I'm just gonna do that. So let's delete the excess and then there's the eyes. Here are the lips. I think everything is good. Okay, now if you've noticed, for the hair, I use contour, right? Sometimes you have the option of using contour and slicing. The reason why you can't use slicing for everything is, I'm gonna show you right now, I'm gonna zoom in so you can really see. So if I wanted to separate the neck from the, from the face, I need to make sure that just the neck is isolated in whatever shape that I'm gonna do. But look how close it is, and it's sort of a funky shape, right? It's different than the shoes. The shoes was easy to separate the left shoe from the right shoe. This, not so much. And if I can't isolate the neck, for instance, then I'm gonna use contour. So in this case, I will use, I'm gonna zoom out for a second, because contouring to me takes a little bit longer sometimes. So we can, for instance, probably slice out that arm. So I'm gonna twist this around, okay? And twist it some more. Let's see, can I? There, that arm is the only piece of her body that is in my square, right? So I'm gonna grab it like this, two items, I'm gonna slice, and now my arm is, is no longer connected to the body, okay? I can probably do the same with the whole set of legs. I don't think I can do it separating leg by leg, but I can do this. 
So I hope that makes sense as to when you would contour and when you would slice. So I contoured this because it's it was so far from the rest of the body. But what I'm not gonna be able to do is contour, or I'm not gonna be able to slice the two legs apart. I can slice this right here, I'll show you right now, because there's enough space for me to isolate that foot. Okay, so I'm gonna do it right now so that you can see. And then I can even do this foot, right? I can move it over here, make sure that it's the only piece. I'm gonna rotate it a little bit so that my square has just her foot, okay? So now I'm gonna grab these two items and slice. And I was able to do that because it was separated. It was far enough away so I can delete these two things. Oops. And I can delete this too. Okay, so now this foot is here. But this, I'm not gonna be able to isolate that with that curve and look how thin it is. I won't be able to isolate the left leg from the right leg. So what I'll do is I will duplicate this so that, uh, where is my duplicate? Okay, there's my duplicate. I'm gonna go to contour. I'm gonna get rid of one leg. So here's my one leg, right? I'm gonna go to this piece and I'm gonna contour. And I'm gonna get rid of this piece. So now I should have a left and a right leg. Where's my other leg? Is that it? Oh, whoa, what happened? And now they're separated, okay? So we're gonna wanna do that with this as well. Um, so here we can use contour. I'm gonna, I'm gonna separate it into three pieces, so I'm gonna need three copies. So here's my first copy. I'm gonna go to contour and hide all. And I want this arm, I don't want the head. So there's my other arm, right? Now on this one, I'm gonna go to contour and I want just the neck. So I'm gonna hide all, I want the neck, I don't want the face. And now there's my neck, teeny tiny. On this one, I'm gonna want the face. So I'm gonna go to contour and I'm gonna get rid of the arm and the neck. Nine inches, nine and a half inches by nine and a half inches, I can cut it, it's perfect. Now. We're gonna be slicing, we're gonna have a seam in the black, right? So there's some openings here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna duplicate the face. Okay, and let's go to contour. Let's, we're gonna hide all. I want the ears, just in case there's a seam in the ears. And I want the face, okay? And I'm gonna change that to black. So this is gonna go behind this piece, okay? And so if there were any seams in the black, this black layer is gonna sit on top and then the face is gonna sit on top of the black. There will be no seams, no visible seams through the eyebrows, through the ears, through the eyes, the mouth. And it's really important in the face because the face is such a focal piece that your eyes are gonna focus on those seams. So in the face, we don't want any seams on the actual skin color, and we definitely don't want any seams in the eyes or the lips. They're just gonna pop out because the eyes are gonna be in there, but there's still open space for the black to show through, and you're gonna see those seams. You can't. I just don't want any seams at all there. Okay, so now really this whole piece, she's only gonna have seams like a quarter of an inch at a time, like maybe a little bit in the hair, maybe a little bit on the edge, but nothing in the colored pieces, so she's gonna look just flawless. All right, so here's my girl. She's 16 inches by 33 inches. Obviously, we cannot cut this on our Cricut, so we're gonna slice it up into pieces that we can. I'm gonna go into my uploads and um, I have an SVG file which you can download for free. It's called this, The Grid of Squares and it's on my website, theuselesscrafter.com and the reason why you want it is it's nice. You don't have to rebuild this grid every time you do an off the mat character. So when the grid comes in, it's gonna look like this. I want this to just go to position and I wanna put it on whole numbers. And the reason why is because 
If I mess up and I have to retrace my steps, it is so much easier to do that if I know every, if all the squares are on a whole number. So I'm gonna change this to five by four. So that means on the X axis, which is the one running across, I'm moving over five units and down four units and here's the start of my squares, okay? Then I'm gonna grab my girl and go to arrange, send to the front. And I'm gonna look to see where should we slice this. And look, oh my gosh, okay. So we could put her like right here, right? She would have a slice down here, but look, her face, her head actually fits in here. So we may have seams running through the ears and the eyes, but we're not worried because we've got this. So, this is good. Um, and this is good. So really the only seams we're gonna have is in the dress, which is okay because we're gonna have these pieces sitting on top and then her hands. Um, okay, I think we're good. So what we will do is Let's ungroup the grid. Okay, and we're gonna move her up. So we're gonna have her right up four as well. So we know she's she fits in there. Okay, so let's get rid of the ones we don't need. gonna get rid of this okay all right so we're gonna slice this first we're gonna grab the top the whole image and the top square so now here's her head okay we don't need this we'll get rid of this we'll do this next now we've got her middle piece okay then we're gonna do this piece oh do you see how that glitched undo it not a big deal we'll try it again let's get rid of this and this and let's see if we could do it now oh, it did it again let's undo it all right let's get rid of this um oh shoot her little hand i didn't notice right here all right let's undo this I'm undoing everything actually. Okay, so here she is. Um, okay, I'm gonna move this over a little bit. Ah, oh, she's just right there. So like, blah, not happy. Let me think about this. Oh, that's so frustrating. <laughs> um, okay, let me think about this. How should I do this? Okay. I don't want the fingers to be sliced off. So I think what I'm gonna do, how can I do this? Okay, let's do this. We're gonna have to be a little, a little, um, okay, so we've got this. Okay. Think about this. Why is this so hard? I've got that. If I slice this off, this should be good. Okay, I'm gonna do this. Let's slice this again. Okay, so we've got that, right? Okay, 
So now what I want to do is I want to grab this. Control C, Control V, okay? Here she is. I'm going to take out the arms. So contour, I'm gonna get rid of this. So here are my hands. They are now in one piece or two pieces, okay? I'm gonna duplicate it, separate it, right? Let's go to contour, I want one. So there's my left hand, here's my right hand. Okay, so now we're good. Now on this piece that's left, let's go to contour. Let's get rid of the hands. We only need the middle piece now, right? Okay. And perfect, there. So we've got everything but the, the hands are like the small pieces. That's it, yay. See, I was trying to make it so complicated. All right, here we go. Let's save it. Uh, I'm gonna do a special order, 33 inches. We're gonna make it and piece it together. I hope that was helpful. And so you know, if you want your own avatar, I would reach out to thesaltyyankee.com and do a custom order. You can reach her on Instagram. I believe she's on Facebook as well and Etsy and her own website, thesaltyyankee.com. And then, um, yeah, if you reach out to her, she can do it. You can do your own off the mat. If you want me to do it, you gotta reach out and let me, and I need to check my calendar to see if I can do it. But, um, all right, any comments or questions, please post them below. I would love to hear your thoughts. And this is posting in June. So if you're in the Los Angeles area, I have my in-person workshops in Los Angeles, July 16th and 17th with Claudia from Miss Olivia Rose Shop. And we are doing a lot of Cricut crafting. So it's for all levels. If you are brand new to Cricut, it's okay. If you use your Cricut a lot, it's okay too. You're gonna learn our process, how we layer things, how we put things together, the materials that we use, everything's gonna be pre-cut for you. So it doesn't, that evens the playing field. Everyone is the same. It doesn't matter how good you are in design space. You will get the tips and tricks within design space because we'll talk about it in the class and I'll also have a projector and show you some things, but it doesn't matter if you're starting new or you're a veteran. The important part is the whole crafting together part. So Claudia and I will share our tips, we'll be walking around watching you do it, and you're gonna learn how we do it and how we get our layers and the colors that we choose, all of that. All the materials, all the sponsors, they're, you know, it's all the stuff that we normally use. So you're gonna get a chance to see why we like certain products and you can decide whether or not you wanna change your products. <laughs> all right, so um, tickets are at theuselesscrafter.com. You can get info on all the different, the four different workshops. And yeah, and I would love to meet with you and craft with you and yeah, it'll be a lot of fun in person. All right, bye.